What's going on everybody? Average Arcader here and it's time for another Minecraft update video. Today we're going to be taking a look at 51, yes there are 51 new add-ons to the Bedrock Marketplace. I'm going to tell you the top 5 that got my attention with some honorable mentions. Alright, let's get started. There's going to be, there's a lot, there's like 51 of them but a lot of them are destination style base, uh, custom spawn style ones. Uh, so there's not a huge huge amount of them that I would be really really interested in but I mean there's a lot to go through so let's get started um, First up my mini block store got my attention. It's very interesting. It's not too expensive But it basically adds a store to survival mode That you can go to and basically buy every single block that's in the game instead of having to hunt them down you can um, farm for coins and whatnot and then simply just go and pick up whatever block you need and it, this is interesting because it helps you track down the harder to get blocks that you certain things you want to build that you can't get to right away that you don't want to have to wait for like if you want to use something in the nether something in the end you know you can use those things right away instead of having to go through you know the processes i kind of still like going through those processes but it's cool to have something that will get you straight up there i think that's cool this is put on by mob blocks i'm not too familiar with that particular studio but uh i am thinking i might take a look at that mm, probably if i can do a um quick review on it 20 plus monsters now i own this one because i saw it when it first popped up and i'm like you know what i think i might do that on the stream wednesday so this is be the one i'm going to be doing when this video comes out i that morning i'll be doing the stream so hopefully it went well it looks interesting it adds just a bunch of different monsters and you can either add it to the normal survival or there's a monster arena it says so i will be checking that out on a live stream looks interesting looks fun um spark universe i think i have played uh some of their stuff before and they normally do do a decent job by no means i don't think they're on the level of some of the other studios i really like but i think they do do decent jobs they simply just add what they're talking about and call it a day normally it functions they might not add a bunch of function, but we'll see. I'm very curious to see how that arena works. Then we have hacker, I, I mean, hacker items. I'm kind of liking these hacker item mods, mainly because they, they give you the broken um, tools and gear, but they come with bases. This one comes with its own military style base, it says sci-fi military base some of these bases are out of control in these hacker mods ones these hacker add-ons so we'll probably be doing a quick review on this one for sure i kind of like i just kind of like looking at them and see what type of broken tools they've made it's definitely fun especially if you want to do a survival run and you don't want to have to wait basically for you know a day or two <laughs> to get to get the like the farm to get the really really good gear so those ones are, are pretty cool okay next up random chaos survival by owls cube now owls cube i've actually played a few of their maps again another another studio that simply does a decent job they're gonna they tell you what they do and they do that a good job at it Again, not I'm not gonna say they're on par with my favorite studios like Everbloom or uh, Ma Game Mode One or Cyclone, but they do do a good job, a decent job. This one seems interesting because it does, it adds 23 random chaos events. So, and I think what it said, yeah, every 60 seconds one of these events happens. So I'm not sure if this is a let's play or should I do, do this one on a live stream or not. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. 
I'm definitely gonna be doing something with it. Either a live stream or a let's play. I think that's very interesting. It says it supports multiplayer. And another thing, people, everyone has a tendency of asking me, oh, can I put this on my own world? If it doesn't basically say that this is a resource pack, you can't put it on your own world. So just to let people know that you don't have to go to every single video, every single map I cover. Can I put this on the world? Well, if it doesn't say it's a resource pack, you can't. Okay, and I see that was one, two, three, four. I think we have one more. There, there we go. Cyber City. This one is another good one. At least it gets my attention. It talks about having co-op action and a one to four players can play it. It has classes, skills, and more. It's called Cyber City. It's definitely based off of Cyberpunk. There's a couple of those mods that have been coming out recently. Um, and it basically says you have to fight your way to the top. So I'm not sure if this is like a horde mode style or if it's an actual quest that they have you going through and doing in this custom made little neon city. I mean, it, it, it looks interesting. Definitely not, I would say not the greatest design in things, but definitely interesting. I like the idea of it. I'm, I'm always interested in looking for mods that have more for you to do, you know, like actual missions and quests. I wish they added those more. A lot of times they do kind of have them, but then they best basically want to, it's basically an excuse to introduce you into a new world and then have you run around in it. It's basically what most of the time, that's what it's for. Okay, so those are our top five. Now it's time for some honorable mentions. As you can see, there's a lot of destination style custom spawns and or bases. I know that this one by Razzleberry's got my attention because I try to always get these bunker style bases they seem to always just have everything i like to like when in my personal uh thing is i like bases because if you want to do a good survival run and you have a base that has everything set up so all you have to do is simply just get in do what you got to do and then you know you can continue on uh straight into getting into the nether straight into getting to the the Ender Dragon, all your equipment ready to go. I'm always looking for a good one of those because I think that's a good way of enjoying survival without having to sit there and grind out all the basics. I still do that. It's weird. I still do that when I start a server, but I, I still look for these because I think it can help people out. So this um, portal leads to a uh, $97 million bunker. <laughs> Uh, one by uh, Portal to Millionaire's Bunker by Razzleberries. That's one of my honorable mentions. I, I like that. As you can see, again, a bunch, a bunch of, you know, destinations. Now, and there's, then there's a couple one block challenges, which I still have yet to try one of these one block challenges. I might do that one of these days on stream. Cops and Robbers. That's another one that made it to my honorable mentions. It's definitely, it's a multiplayer one. And you basically it's parkour you're running i think i think somebody can play as a cop someone plays as a robber and it's basically it's parkour like chase multiplayer i'm not a huge fan of parkour but you know every now and then i try it every now and then pirate base another interesting looking one uh you basically get a custom made island with this ship base in the middle very interesting it looks cool um, I didn't actually try it out or anything, but it did look cool. So it was good enough to get my attention. I'm always looking for the interesting looking bases too. Sometimes there's, sometimes those are really good. You know, sometimes you'll think, oh, this is just a custom spawn, but when you get in there, there's all pretty good stuff in there. It sets you up pretty nice. Um, then secret underground base is another good one that looked cool, looked interesting, got my attention. Uh, I kind of, as you can tell, I kind of favor the underground bases. I, I like them because they tend to have everything you need. They also tend to be bigger. 
than the ones that are solely above ground. The above ground ones normally are limited. They don't have as much. The underground ones, they normally put more because they just keep going down and, and keep spreading it out. So I, I normally teen, lean towards the underground bases. Now this one got my attention, but it, it doesn't look like anything I'd be interested in. Um, surreal Skyblock. Like, I'm, it looked cool, but when I clicked on it, this is the only thing on the Skyblock. So I don't know if it would be worth checking out because in my mind i'm like well in a sky block shouldn't you have a bunch of other things that you need you want to try to get to you just have that one thing like i'm not sure i'm i've never a big fan of the sky blocks for me i i i just haven't all right so that's going to be it for our honorable mentions is as you can see there's a ton there's a ton is there anything i missed that you guys are excited for why don't you let us know in the comment section down below and if we get a good enough comment maybe i'll post that up in our next video and then um our next video i might post that comment at the end of the video the top comment so definitely let us know down there what are you excited for and why all right guys that's gonna be it for this video Again, like I said, if you are enjoying these, make sure to leave a like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification button because that's the best way to support the channel if you want us to keep growing so that we can cover more of these maps. All right, guys, look out for our next quick review and our next stream. Until then, I'm Average Arcader. See you next time.